Boshilai's last public appearance was as a member of the Communist Party's Politburo at the National People's Congress in Beijing in March last year. That his next should be as an accused criminal in a courtroom in a provincial city exemplifies a stunning fall from grace. The son of a leading revolutionary, he served as mayor of the northeastern city of Dalian and as China's commerce minister. But the scandal that would bring him down came years later, when he was party secretary of the southwestern city of Chongqing. In November 2011, the British businessman Neil Haywood was found dead in a hotel room there. An associate of Bo and his wife, Gu Kailai, his death would eventually come to be seen as murder after Bo's trusted police chief, Wang Li Jun, fled to a nearby US consulate with an extraordinary account of Haywood's killing. At her trial last year, Gu Kailai admitted poisoning Haywood and was given a suspended death sentence. Now Chongqing, a place once synonymous with the man, is being cleansed of his traces. You really don't have to look too hard to find ways that Bo's legacy is quietly being expunged in this city. In this park, just across the road from his old office, is where people used to gather to sing red songs, part of his signature drive to rekindle a communal Maoist spirit. Instead, now we find a sign saying such singing is considered too noisy. A once high-profile police presence is now substantially more relaxed. It's harder to wipe out his more concrete legacy, like the social housing that won him support among the poor. He was a good leader. I hope he doesn't get punished too severely. Support extends to many still within the upper reaches of the party, which is why some believe he'll get a relatively light sentence of 20 years. Uh, the Communist Party is a huge organization, and uh, this um, bickering amongst the factions uh, will always be there. It's just that uh, for the sake of party unity, I think uh, Xi Jinping has settled uh, for the uh, lenient treatment for his uh, major political rival. His career over, a life at best under house arrest in store, there are some determined not to let this one-time star of Chinese politics slip silently away. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, Chongqing, China.